you tried, lads. And I wanted to talk to you for a minute about finding your knocking point on a longbow or a recurve. Um, you know, now you could spend some money and go pick up one of those uh, fancy bow squares. They're 12 bucks, 15 bucks up here in Alberta, Canada. You know, they're kind of... They're about in between that $15, $20. But if you go to Cabela's, they're like more like $40. Um, now, I found this cool thing, and basically I did it, found out by myself. Trial and error, and it works. All you need is a ruler. That's all you need. Just a simple ruler. I picked this one up at Dollarama for, I think, a package of three of them was like $1.25. Anyhow, um, what you're going to do is you're actually, here's my bow here, just uh, two seconds. So here I have my long bow and... Now this is a homemade longbow, it's built by myself, um, nice longbow, yes I know the tiller is probably off, but anyhow, so to find your knocking point, all you're going to do, you're going to take your ruler, lay it up on the arrow rest, and you're going to make this section right here, line up nice and square, nice and flat, with this so if I take this if I can take this I'm just gonna move my bow here for a second if I take this lay it on there go to here I can tell you right now that right where I have my knocking point is where I need to be so again set it on your shelf Make the rule end of the ruler match with the string at the very bottom. Hold your finger, tie a knot, take a piece of mark or something, mark it, do it. It should be pretty close. So that's all I got for you guys, and uh, that's basically what it is with a ruler. That is how you get your knocking point with a ruler.